been a while. I'm so sorry. Instead of editing, I chose to relax. So it's kind of my own thing. But I'm back. Woo! Currently reading A Simpler Life. I started it on Sunday, and I'm that far through. And I don't like reading, so I think this is good. I've come to a realisation I don't like fiction books. I'm so sorry, girlies. I just can't get into any of them. See you at uni. I wake up at like 6 because I've been trying to sort out my sleep schedule to wake up earlier but I just fell back to sleep I was having such a bizarre dream I was like I'm going to go back to sleep I've got uni today my crypt is tomorrow sleepy but let's go get ready for the day oh. Oh. Outfit. I'm wearing this gorgeous skirt which my grandma gave me. I'm pretty sure it's per Una. My long sleeve HM top. And then this this new top. Got it from Vinted. And then just my crusty, dusty, disgusting Air Forces, which I definitely need to buy new shoes, but I don't want to. Like, they get a hole in the bottom. But I don't want to. I've had these for years and I don't want to buy them. All. I'm a student babe. Done this, I did a photo shoot with Sophie. We collabed on a shoot together when I was back in Devon and really happy with the photos like over the moon happy with the photos and now i thought i made this i like this a lot it's very quite pretty oil pastel today i'm going to be painting and i've got my crit I'm like a little what's in my bag for uni we'll do my outfit first i'm keeping it rather comfy i'm wearing my nice blue trousers these are from M&S. Underneath I have an M&S top, just to keep me warm, and my thermals. I have this cute top. She's gorgeous. And I've just thrown over this really pretty blue top. Jumper? Yeah, jumper from M&S. And my Air Forces go-to bag. Like, it's actually my go-to now. I really like it. I'm wanting to dance because dancing gets you excited for the day. Dance. Oh, dance. Oh, dance. I hope someone's dancing with me right now. What's in May's bag? Just in case she gets cold. The current book I'm reading, A Simpler Life. Some bits and bobs I like for uni. My camera. Ooh, maybe we'll take a photo. I don't know what I look like. This is the only situation. Oh, they're quite cute. Slay! I like to take photos of my artwork on this. I put all my electronics in this one. 
You've got to go now. I need to squish you in. Going up. So hot. I hate the walk. It gets really hot at the back of the building. And then it just gets... It's just freezing outside. I just finished my crit. That went so good. I will touch on everything when I'm back at home and we'll do a debrief home now the crit went so good um probably the best crit i went in having the intentions that I, it was like my first crit so i went in having the intentions that i didn't think my work was good enough but that was really bizarre for me to think because it was good it was fabulous i'm very talented and i need to stop telling myself you stop like putting my artwork down because my work is really good and I should appreciate myself more and what I create. The whole atmosphere and the vibe was so good and I just felt so incredibly proud of myself and good afterwards. Kind of just felt like a nice warm hug and I think I needed that. I think I needed that validation. Even though I should validate my myself more and I should be more confident, I, I think I just needed to hear that it was good so proud of myself the meaning was translated through the work which was fabulous everyone picked up on everything perfectly and it's such a gorgeous piece i'm not sure if i want to sell the piece right now i love the piece and it's so beautiful i don't know if i can part ways with it right now but if anyone's really interested in the piece my email is below pop me an email maybe prints maybe prints might be coming out of this i don't know it's all in the works right now but it's really quite exciting I'm going to go paint today at uni. I shall bring you along. Finally, I've been ne I've been needing to paint this for ages, and now I'm motivated. I've got a tutorial, an extra one. So I'm just going to ask just a bunch of questions. If the works were like what I need to do, if if they believe like I'll pass, I'll get the grades. I don't know. It's the first like proper graded one. It's not pass or fail. It's graded. Oh, that's my alarm to go. See you at uni. Bye. I realized I needed to tell you what the meaning behind this piece was because it's such a sentimental thing for me and I'm just going to show you whilst I talk 
all the stuff I completed in this project. I'm just gonna flick through the slides. I've got my grade back. I got a B. Woo! Did really want an A, but there is a reason why I didn't get an A. I didn't critique my work enough and I'm so used to doing that. I took it out and I can't believe I took it out because I wanted to sound more professional. I'm going to talk about the meaning behind this specific piece. This piece is called Drape the Blooms Over the Linen Buds. Oil, acrylic and alcohol pen on wood, approximately 150 by 150 centimeters. The title to this work connotes a metaphor in relation to personal growth, development and intimacy. The piece represents an era of healing for me from an experience of SA. Choosing to keep the piece unfinished for symbolic reasons that my healing has not finished. This piece touches on themes of womanhood, intimacy and femininity. All aspects of my own life that has guided me through my healing process when I felt lost of my own identity. 